Every year, the Dragon Boat Festival falls on the fifth day of the fifth month of the traditional lunar calendar. However, on the Georgian calendar, it might fall around mid-June. The staple food for the Dragon Boat Festival is the dumpling, whereas in Chinese, we call it Zhongzi. Me and my family would always go to the market to buy some since my mom does not know how to make some. We would then give it to our grandparents, our family members, our aunts and uncles, and our friends. The reason why my mom does not know how to make the dumplings is because it requires a lot of time, practice, skills, patience, and a lot of ingredients. Currently, we have two types of dumplings. One is the savory and another the sweet one. The sweet one contains bamboo leaves, red bean paste, and glutinous rice. However, the savory one, it has bamboo leaves, glutinous rice, salted egg yolk, raw nuts, and minced pork. However, in the past, my grandparents would make their dumplings themselves and they would also offer prayers as remembrance and respect during the festival. Speaking about the past, let's see how this festival came about. A long time ago in China, there was a famous poet named Qi Yan. Qi Yan was one of the emperor's most loyal servants. Unfortunately, the emperor's advisor got jealous. They said many bad things about Qi Yan. Unfortunately, the emperor believed them and forced the poet to go back to his village. Upset about losing the emperor's trust, Qi Yan decided to end his own life. On the fifth day of the fifth month on the lunar calendar, Qi Yan went to the Milo River and drowned himself. The people in the village threw rice dumplings into the river because they thought that Qi Yan was a noble man. This was to keep the fish from destroying his body. And to honor the poet's memory, the village made rice dumplings and held boat races on the same day every year. However, in the future, I will appreciate the art of making dumplings more. I would love to learn the techniques on making and dumplings from my grandparents. And of course, I would still continue the tradition of giving the dumplings to my family members and to my friends.